my life and then patriotic <laughs> whether the two of them are together or there's something in it but it's nationalism and patriotism um a spoken word or a doing word that is what is more important to us and if somebody says a wukojoto how can we revive it to my immediate right i have a die hard let me use Nkrumah's because that's what we are talking about today. Nkrumah is at heart. And I want to hear himself. What has he done? You tell me. Scoffrey here is a very vibrant young man. He's, no, um, he's not new to our, our screens, talking about how the youth can. You, you are the president of where? Um, Visionless Foundation. Visionless Foundation. Even that says it. So good morning. Good to have you again in the studio. Good morning, Nkuba. How nationalistic and patriotic are we, the youth? You let's forget about what are, yes, in your word, in your mm -hmm. are we supposed to be? What exactly does it mean? Well, we first of all must understand uh, what patriotism or nationalism actually means mm -hmm. or what it stands for. Uh, and the Maran website is now we say love for one's country. Mm -hmm. But Stanford um, Encyclopedia of Philosophy says that it is the love for one's country. Mm -hmm. Secondly, having a personal identity with your country and also seeking the well-being of your country mm. so when you put these three um, phrases together it even outweighs just love for one country mm -hmm. when i was listening to my colleagues from legon what i saw was words being bonded around mm -hmm. that oh patriotism and kuma was a and kuma was b but patriotism is an intrinsic value it, mm -hmm. is an, it is something within that must evolve so before you say you are patriotic some action that is emanating from your inner person must take place. Mm. Kwame Nkrumah, can, can, we can never do anything without mentioning Nkrumah's name. Mm. As a young person, before I moved into forming that organization, it was him, it was his ideals, it was his examples that I looked at to become like him. Mm -hmm. So if we sit back and just look up to our leaders today and we are not able to bring what we have within, like I said, it is an intrinsic value. Mm. It is an intrinsic spirit. More of a way of life and an attitude. Absolutely. Like the way we pick Bibles and stay focused on Jesus or God that we don't see. We should have that thing. We should have that innate ability to love our country no matter what. Mm. Like nationalism. As patriotism will be at the forefront of def that is defending the country. Nationalism is the bit where you attack for the sake of your country. Mm. You got to have a stand where nobody can come in or you wouldn't go anywhere and you'll be intimidated there was something about in coma he was the only president that could stand toe to toe with president jf kennedy mm -hmm. of the united states and said to him i know you are part of the assassination attempts against my life mm -hmm. how many african leaders of today mm -hmm. can stand up to any western power president and say you have a hand in my assassination okay. attempt that is what we are talking about as let, 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 let's look at the platform should, should there be an environment to enable you to exhibit patriotism and nationalism is that in retrospect with Nkrumah's life and his his portrayal of nationalism should there be a platform or irrespective of the situation around you should be able to be who you want to be for your country first of all let's put um, our continent vis-a-vis -vis other uh, continents or countries and see the moment you are born in America you be, you right away you, you'll be schooled mm -hmm. or you are being taught or you are being given philosophies that makes you believe that it is the best nation ever. Mm -hmm. That is, that is a, 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 a propaganda. That is a mechanism that they are using. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. We really need a platform. That is why Nkoma set up the Ideological Institute. Mm -hmm. We need the platform. That is where the Ministry of Education, GES, uh, National Youth Authority, um, uh, National Youth Employment, the National uh, Service Scheme, mm -hmm. these are platforms that must be used to inculcate in the Ghanaian mm. that spirit. Some are born to be teachers of such uh, um, philosophy. Mm -hmm. So those who are not like that, those who have that spirit, must be given the platform, the room, the support to instill. It is there, but it, a, a, a light must be sparked for it to evolve. Mm. So we need that platform. If you go to the National Youth Authority, and I want to quote something for the National Youth Policy, from page 18, mm. it talks about patriotism, nationalism, and volunteerism. Nothing can we do if we want to implement that national youth policy. We must start and build an atmosphere of patriotism. Mm. National Youth Employment Scheme, 
if you take the person out there, get the person skilled and blah, blah, blah. And within the person's spiritual ability, he has no mm -hmm. value. Why I should even learn the skill? Less depth is also now out here. We all give these programs. But the per personalities or the people are not fine-tuned to sing the song. How many people even sing the national anthem? Mm. Okay. Go out there. Don't, don't jump from one. I know you are exploding. <laughs> There are a lot of things you want to talk about, but don't jump, don't jump on each of them at the mm. same time. Let's keep, I like the line you're parting, that there should be a positive brainwashing mm. towards nationalism mm. uh, from the free basic education that was supposed to be till whenever you were supposed to pay for tuition. Your mind should be directed towards a certain agenda. I like that part. You are on the field there. Let's see what we have now and how we can move forward in this short time that we have. What do we see? Um, is it a situation where we are totally confused by miscultures and so we don't even know what it means to be patriotic unless maybe you play football and you bring mm. the medal or you run a race somewhere in the name of Ghana wearing, or there could be other things which we are not seeing. What would that be? Well, in Kuma, in his book, Conscientism, and also a book by Robert Owusu, in Kuma was afraid that we are traditional beings, we are traditional oriented personalities. Mm -hmm. There we have uh, colonialism that has its also identity alongside religion, Christianity, and Islam. And he was worried how were we going to emerge these three, which we call enculturation, mm. so that it will rather carry a traditional identity. That thing couldn't suffice. And it is the same challenge we are facing today. Mm. On the field, it will amaze you, you meet a Ghanaian who is not Ghanaian in thinking you meet a young person who is not Ghanaian in thinking and in attitude, then it amazes you. And they're the same young men who be craving for a change. We want to see Ghana transformed. We want to see our leaders behave in one direction or the other. But they themselves are not intrinsically motivated to say that, whether good or bad, this is all that I have. This is the country, from the word patriotism, as the Greek says, is fatherland. Mm -hmm. That is where the word stems from, mm -hmm. meaning fatherland. This is the motherland we have. God bless this country. When you say a prayer, you say for this country. So, it, it is, we are, we are at a, a situation or a particular state that uh, the amalgamation of these identities is what is really retarding patriotism in the Ghanaian. Mm. But all is not lost. We must governize all the tools we have. Let's, let, let the institutions that I've mentioned go to personalities, institutions that are on the ground, are willing and are desiring to be a tool of change for patriotism. Either than that, in Cuba, anybody can pick even a pen, come and toy around with your country, and you give him. <laughs> well, let's look at the, the verbs of patriotism and nationalism. As we've mentioned, the psyche, the, um, how we should portray ourselves. It's not about the clothes we wear. Mm. It is not about the songs we sing. Mm. What are some of the critical things, especially the youth? That we are supposed to do to exemplify our patriotism first of all we must accept the identity we have as Ghanaian you can never be a double Ghanaian mm. you can never be American Ghanaian you can never be European Ghanaian first of all accept that your ID even if you are from the slave route you are a Ghanaian <laughs> accept that faith accept that understand that is the first means then two the institution assigned must also begin to play active roles in conscientizing the Ghanaian. Mm. We need to have, like you, you stated, music and dance and blah, but until the ground or the foundation on which all these things can thrive is not world nature, then you will sing all the patriotism, but when in times of challenge that you need the spirit of patriotism, people will run away. Mm. When, when that foundation is not well laid, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really concerned about the foundation. Mm. It is all not lost. The generation now, my colleagues, those after me, we need to be conscientized. We need to be re-indoctrinated. We need to be rebranded. The Ghanaian must believe in himself as a Ghanaian. No nation from China, Japan, Malaysia, America thrive on technology or succeeded in advancement without the seed of patriotism and nationalism. Mm. You will be by force. It will be pushed into your heart by force. Mm. What I'm saying is, should should we find ourselves in this situation? The foundation is laid, or we are getting conscientized. That's all right. Now I think that I'm a Ghanaian. I think that I believe in the spirit of whatever is happening in Ghana. What are some of the things that I have to do in my corner? 
to let people feel that this is what I really believe in. We shouldn't wait till Blaster is playing football before we want to put on our national colors. Mm. We shouldn't wait till events are taking place before we want to get involved and say we are Ghanaians. In your own corner, there are times people ask you questions. Oh, what do we do like this? Let them begin to have a feel of who you are when you say you are patriotic. Mm. In your own corner, if you were a teacher, teach with passion. If you are a father, a mother, let your children experience patriotism out of you first. And that is one particular point we must to stress. That from the homes, parents and family must exhibit. Mm. It shouldn't be about the ability to speak English. It is an intrinsic value. So even in your own account language, we need to get to that point. We must start from the homes. You, you shouldn't only, I wouldn't see you with Buzana and say that you are patriotic. No. It, it must back with action. As it is intrinsic, its corresponding energy is extrinsic. Mm. So if it is in here, until it has been experimented and experienced out there, your patriotism is with you alone. Let, let's, let's quickly look so we can be more uh, exact. Mm. In, in the young pioneer, for instance, there were a lot of ideals. I had the privilege of interviewing one of them who has lived through today. And he told me some of the recitals, some mm -hmm. of the songs, some mm -hmm. of the activities. Mm -hmm. And we know that even in our villages, in the, in, in, when the we feeling was there, the community feeling where the, the, the chief who put the people together to do clean-up exercise. Let's talk about some of these things. What were the ideals in the Young Pioneer, for instance, that we don't see today, at, which we should be exhibited to show our patriotism? So in the Young Pioneers, like you rightly put it, they, they had recitals. Let's say if they pick a song, instead of it just going like how the song was formerly, they equated certain facets of our lifestyle that when you sing, all right, Ghana, you blah, 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 you sing it from your spirit man, not just the words. Um, and, and, and it brought about communism, whereby, whereby uh, communities were building things for themselves because they believed that this is the only land we have, this is the only town we have. And also in, in, the, in the way we sing, in the way we dress, in the way we do things, everything... You, you'll be nurtured. The young mm -hmm. people were nurtured to the point that people thought that they were spies against their families or they were spies against their, their people. But rather, they were prepared to lay down their lives for the sake of their country. That is the point we must get to. You will meet an American on the street. American will never, if they could be toyed around with like we are feeble to be toyed around with, like America will be influenced by now. Look at how hard terrorists have tried, but they still cannot permeate into American system because if it is against the totality of America, then hell no. Mm. But when it comes to our part of the world, we will sign contracts, that is anemical, we will go into projects, that will not benefit us. Issues will happen and it is against us, but yet we wouldn't take a stand for it. Let's right. get to that point. Right. We are talking about the man, Osage, for.